Hello and welcome to ProSec UT8000 Tutorial 4 Instrument Setup. Following actions are possible on completion of this tutorial. First we'll understand what is a measurement file and what is a setup file. We'll create a new measurement file and show you how to append an existing measurement file. And then we'll open up a setup file and define the measurement presets for creating a new setup file. So what is a measurement file and what is a setup file? Got a quick explanation here. So we have to think of a measurement file as a large container. This container holds all the setup files. So you see I can put the setup files of the zero 45, 60, 70 degree probes with DACs or TGCs into this. A measurement file can contain as many setup files as you need, allowing you to complete uh, reporting across a number of items. So if I my procedure has the following beams in there, I can use that across a number of welds so then my reporting and my logbook and my indication table can be across a large number of objects. Or we can also contain just one setup file as well. So if you need just a, a simple setup file, it's in within the measurement file, that's, that's possible too. So how do we create a measurement file? See on the home screen here, we can press the create new button on the first tile at the bottom, the plus icon. But first we have to make sure we're connected to the base unit and also we're signed in. So you see, I'm gonna press this create new button Yeah, and that will bring me to the live mode. It will be the live mode of the most recently used setup file I've loaded. So now I'm going to show you how to append an existing measurement file. Say I've started a measurement and wish to continue maybe in the next day or the next shift. What we do is we go to the file explorer and open the measurement file that we wish to continue. The file explorer is of course found on the data tile, the first tile. So press the, the top half of that tile. Now I'm gonna load up tutorial video one from my measurement files. You can see when I press the back arrow on the left pane, it brings me that setup to continue. You can see I've already got the two indications recorded from the indication view. Um, so I'm ready to continue that measurement. So to open a setup file, do the following. In the live view, you can search for load and save setup files. In the menu, in the setup summary tab, you'll see the top first uh, icon is the zero degree single. And I'm going to load up the 10 megahertz blank, and there, there it is. So when I press that first menu option, it will bring me to a, a, a sub menu of all the setup files I've created. So I can also sort in this setup file sub menu. So when I go there, I can sort by last used alphabetically created, I'm gonna keep last used there. So I'm gonna load up that blank. And when you see is when I make a change to this setup file, a red dot will appear next to that name. So I've changed the gain slightly. And now that's uh, different to the one that's saved. Now I'm gonna save this by pressing create new. I've not changed the name. And what it does, it creates a duplicate. It doesn't overwrite it. 
So if I want to delete the original, I can go into the menu, sideswipe and delete that. If I want to quickly load up a setup and view the setup details, I can do that as well. So the, the third option in the setup summary menu is the details bar there, and there's a small I next to there. If you press that, you get the full menu there of all the settings that it's going to load up. So that's all the settings in one quick, easy to view panel. So if I want to define the measurement presets for a setup file, I will go to the measurement preset menu. Now these are in live mode and these are the most important ones. You can see I'm changing now the measuring mode. I can use pulse echo, dual, through or corrosion grid. I can change the angle from zero to 90 degrees. I can change the frequency from 0.5 to 20 megahertz. The energy, this one takes a longer press because it's uh, quite important. You don't change this by mistake. I can go from 100 to 400 volts. And when you see I reduce it to 100, it takes a while to correct about five seconds. You can change the damping from low to high. There's not so much effect on the square wave pulse. You'll notice that in the narrow pulse. The pulse width can be auto or narrow. Auto is based on the frequency. The PRF, I can select manual and then a new option will appear where I can select that number manually. Then we look at some filters. We've got analog filters here. I'm going to change them to auto, but we've got a number there that you can optimize your best signal on. And the digital filters there, which I'll change to auto. Then we have averaging. We've got no averaging at the moment, but uh, up to 32 is possible. And then you have the tie rewind function that you see in another tutorial. You can set your length of your uh, time you're going to record and the quality of the signal as well. So that's the measurement presets menu in summary. This cannot be changed in review mode. It's only when you're acquiring the data. So now you know how to set up and start a measurement. Thank you.